Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC, and welcome to Saturday Night Live. I just ran up and down the stairs like three times in the past three minutes, so it sounds like I'm out of breath, that's why. But uh, very cool. All right, man, we got a lot of people here. That's awesome. Hey, you guys gotta let me know if you're hearing me okay. I was having a little bit of mic issue. Couldn't find it picking up, wasn't picking up the mic right away, so hopefully you can hear me okay. But Jason, see the Mansky, Penny, Eggs and Ham, Zach's here. Oh, Zach was gonna take over. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, Grom, how you doing? Monsters here. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? All right, good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it wasn't picking up the mic. I think it's because I used the other laptop last night when I went live, and it just didn't recognize it right away so anywho we're here we're up and running born of blades is here so we can start the show scott too so right on well uh, let's just jump into it right away guys i tell you what well i'll tell you first let me off tell you about my day uh we spent today doing the well i think we figured out it was the fifth annual gingerbread house um, decorate, well, we had them built, so it was just decorating this year, but, oh my goodness, it was such a blast. Oh, Zach, Zach is always, thank you so much, man. Thank you very much. There we go. We're going to give Zach some love. Thank you very much, Zach. Oh, who's here? Mark's here. Sue Chicken's here. Very good. Manny's here. Factors of Jack. Grim Reaper, right on. Grim with an I, not with a Y, because I have two of them. <laughs> What's up, Chad? Oh, my goodness. So, yes, we were decorating. I think I think I got all the food coloring off my hands. I think. <laughs> they were blue and green and yellow and red and everything else there for a little while. John's here. How you doing, John? Woohoo! Knife dude. Shoe monster. Cheers. B-Wax is here. Peter B's here, right on. Woohoo. But yes, that's how we spent our afternoon. So I was running around getting stuff ready right before I went live today. But I tell you what, guys, man, last night, dude, last night was freaking epic. I'll tell you what, man. That was so, so much fun. Hey, Libertarian, Rusty. How you doing? Oh my goodness. I watched the playback and <laughs> oh my goodness, that was silly. That was just silly. Hello, Paul. How are you? We'll be taking a look at something from you this evening, most definitely. But <laughs> I knew I was excited. <laughs> and I could tell I was excited because I was screwing up the the uh random comment picker and stuff but when i when i played it back oh my goodness i had to laugh at myself oh my goodness hey casey what's up jason ethan what's happening winchester's here yes indeed oh my goodness and scott there's one of our winners as a matter of fact scott won last night very cool Yes, indeedy. That was, dude, guys, that was the coolest part. Oh, thank you, Zach. Zach just threw up a link there to Big Red's Brigade. You can see all the guys in the chat that have the red stars next to their names. There's actually numbers in there that tells them how long they've been members of Big Red's Brigade. But you've got all the emojis. Uh, you get 20% off of any knife sale I do, which I'm going to need to do one here soon, I think. Hey, the Diesel Mechanic Devil Dog is in the house. Right on. Woohoo. Mark's here as well. But yes, uh, that's a link. Uh, what do you get? Members, members only content, early access content, all that good stuff for becoming a member of Big Red's Brigade. So thank you all very much that do that. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. But yes, we actually, you know what, guys? I have been, oh, what's that? 
Oh, what's that a link to, Zach? All I can see is YouTube. Is that a link to my channel? I need to be able, I got to shout it out if it's somebody's channel. But uh, it did. There was a lot of names to draw, dude. Hey, Rick's here. How you doing, buddy? Hollywood's here. Yeah, Mariana, she sent me your address. Oh, that's my, the brigade? Okay, cool. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Um, She sent me your address to send her package to, so I'll be getting that in the mail. So, very cool. George French is here. Hello. But we took Mondax here, too. Dang, Dillip's here. Holy smokes, the whole crowd's jumping in. All right. Um... I've had almost all the winners contact me so far, which that's awesome. All the all the international winners have contacted me, and all but two of the U.S. winners have contacted me so far. So that's really really cool. I actually, I, I was actually able to get ten boxes to the mail today. People contacted me that quick. So uh, we had four people on the channel last night or on the live stream last night that won. And of course, I mean, I got their stuff right away, but every, yeah, it's, I'm really, really glad to be able to get that stuff out really quick because I mean, in all these, in all the chat groups and all the, the knife swap groups that we have, I mean, we took, we've been talking about the mail and, uh, Hey, CK, que pasa? Uh, mail, FedEx, oh, FedEx, gee, many Christmas. I should, uh, my, my care package, my SMKW Army care package was supposed to be here last Monday. It just got here today uh, by FedEx. So it's, and I mean, I understand why. I mean, they're just so bogged down because people aren't going out. They're ordering stuff through the mail. And now you've got the regular, you know, the holiday mail. So, I mean, it's just, it's just a mess. So, I mean... Uh, you can't really blame them, but it, it's just a bummer that it's taken so long. Hey, Lefty, what's up, man? So, but yes, we got some packages out already. Almost all the winners have contacted me, so that's really, really awesome. I'm very, very, yes, and super, super shout out to Zach uh, for all his help uh, helping me. <laughs> oh, my goodness, getting everything together getting everything yeah they might be shipping the vaccines now who knows so uh oh really oh yeah yeah fedex has been not not my friend lately but anywho so what are y'all carrying today let's find out what you're carrying and then i'll show you what i was carrying today and it was being carried by something really, really special from my good buddy, Paul. So, hello, Lisa. How are you? Oh, they were, no, nah, she was awesome. She was awesome. We got there. We timed it just right. Because when we got there, there was hardly anybody in line. When I was done and walked out, there was probably at least 15 people in line. So, I've been good, Mondak. How are you, brother? Yeah, you've won pretty, you've done pretty good on the channel, Scott. All right, we got a 945 Osborne. Nice. What else have we got? 940 BK 2002. A filter and a trout. Oh, nice. Skiff Drifter. Hey, Saro Sock. How you doing? R. Campbell. How you doing? Rene Chavez. Hello. 8015. Sharp Design Void. Nice. Oh, where'd they all go? There they are. Gerber Sedulo, Super Tool 300. Nice. Griptilian. Nice. Ranger Green Bug Out. Nice. PM2 Maximant. A Mini Grip. Kaiser Sheepdog. Right on. A Lefty Kaiser Sheepdog, of course. The Shredder. Nice, buddy. Nice. Oh, yes. The off-grid knives, Black Stallion. That knife was so fun to look at. I had a blast. Riot Bushido. Very nice, R. Campbell. Very nice. Kershaw Dividend. Tinker. Para 3. 
Oh, where'd they go? Doggone it, I'm falling behind here. Pair of three, Pioneer X, VG10 Stockman, nice. <laughs> You're browning, right? Very good. Do, do, do. Alex is nice as such. How you doing? From Mo, from Old Mo, Missouri, 940, Case Trapper, 943, 20CV Smock, nice. Micro Evo, nice. QSP Penguin and Blue Jean Micarta. Yes, indeedy. Good budget one there. Gil Bradley 2. Very nice. Very cool. Knucklehead 2. Craig Recoil Lock. Very cool. Guru. Man. I got to catch up here. Formax Scout. Lefty Micro. Oh, I saw that one. Lefty Micro Evo. Hoback Enoch, very nice. That was very cool of them, KC, to send that out. Penguin, big lighter, nice. Very, very cool. 943 and 945. Yeah, I'm not happy with FedEx either, Zeb. Banter, cool. Awesome, very cool. Well, I will show you what, oh, what's Devil Doc? A Hank, a Ruger LCP2, and a K-Bar. Nice. Well, I'll show you what I was carrying today. First, I'll show you the knife I was carrying. I went really light today because we were over there and we were just having fun. But I was carrying this very nice little Arthur Wright and Son lamb's foot sent to me by my good buddy Slick Slicer. Very, very fun, very nice little knife. I am super, super digging it. Kind of a little sway back to it, but just an awesome, awesome knife. And, ah, I love it. And it's a lamb's foot. So there you go. I almost called it a sheep's foot when I did the unboxing. I was like, that's not right. It's a lamb's foot. But awesome, awesome little knife. And, oh, of course, that's what I'm getting ready to show. It was being carried in this. This absolutely gorgeous red leather slip, personalized red leather slip. Big red EDC right there. And then JB right there. And this comes from our good friend, Paul Decor de Lam, his gorgeous, gorgeous leather making. Oh my, oh, guy, this, I love this so much. Love this so much. And the very cool thing about this, hey, Grateful Panic, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Guys, this fits these thinner knives like this, like this little lamb's foot, the micarta work knife, uh, my case, Sodbuster Jr., those type of knives fits them perfectly. Hey, Didier, how you doing? Oh, my goodness. It's absolutely perfect for those. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Paul. Where's your... There it is. Had to get the business card. There you go. There's the there's one business card. I know I have the other one here. No, I've done it. There it is. There it is. That's the one I wanted to show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. PJS Lever Leathercraft. But it's absolutely gorgeous, my friend. <laughs> Jody Claus. That's what it felt like. That was so much fun, man. This is, and I've seen, if you, if you guys haven't seen Nice Slicer, check out his channel. There was a beautiful wallet show up at his house. He showed that on his channel. Head on over to Nice Slicer and check that out. It's very, very similar to the wallet that Paul made me, of course. Thank you so much for that as well. Oh, I don't have that up here. That's downstairs. So I can't show that at the moment, but just, oh, it's, 
it's fantastic. It's extremely well made. I'm I'm loving it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Paul. I can't thank you enough. And I really, hello, hello, Manette. It was kind of, I just had to carry this today. Two, two great gifts from two wonderful people. It was just, <coughs> oh, excuse me, after last night and then today, oh, man, had to do it. Yes, there are some very talented penguins. Very talented. Jeez. I'm trying to read and talk at the same time and it doesn't work. Very talented people in this community. And what was that? A QSP penguin, Blue G Micarta? Yep. Oh, very cool. There you go. Atlantic Knife Company. I'm trying to catch up on some of the G Marine. Hello. Hello from Washington. How you doing? <laughs> uh, I sent it out Wednesday or Thursday is when I sent it, I think. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Casey. Nobody else is saying anything, so it must be kind of in your area sorry about that i have the good laptop so i don't think it's me <laughs> we'll just say that so i tell you what we didn't look at the coin right off the bat so i will look at it we'll take a look at it right now obviously one of my favorite coins in my collection my proud navy dad coin Pretty standard, pretty simple, but I am very, very proud of this one. So my son is no longer in. He's out now going to college and everything. But yeah, this is this is one of my favorites of the collection for sure. Very, very proud Papa there. So oh, Paul's gonna go get more coffee. All right. So yes indeedy. Very, very happy with that coin. So, hey, guys, this reminds me. Um, I just, I said hey to Grateful Panic. He is in the, he's in the crowd tonight. Hey, Lorenzo, what's up, buddy? Um, I am, now that the giveaway, we've kind of got the giveaway pretty much taken care of. Um... I am kind of in the process of organizing. I'm going to be doing a fundraiser raffle. And there's a lot of them going on right now. I know our buddy uh, JT has been doing a few uh, for Nick Maffei's family, which is absolutely awesome. Um, Lou is doing some. Uh, he's got some Long Island Knife guy. He's got uh, some going on. And... I am going to be doing one for a couple of people that are very, very near and dear to me. Uh, Grateful Panic is one of them. Um, yeah, a lot of people coming on some hard times, and I'm going to be doing one for him, and I'm going to be doing one for our good friend, uh, Chris, TI Addiction, him as well. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be trying to put putting those together, filling them up. I've got some people already uh, throwing in some stuff. Uh, Shadowborn Hanks is throwing in some stuff, which is absolutely awesome. Um, uh, Blade Brigade New York is going to be sending some. And I've got several others that had said they were going to send something. So we'll hope we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll put some stuff together, and hopefully we can help a couple people out. So... Yeah, I tell you what, Rick, uh, Grateful Panic and I, man, we were, we, we pretty much started out together, same way with me and Zeb, you know, I don't know if you guys saw my channel chat with Zeb, Dual Sports Survival, this morning, uh, that was a lot of fun, 
but yeah, yeah, definitely going to be doing that, John. Um, throwing some stuff, putting some stuff together. But uh, yeah, I mean, me and John, well, we went back and forth. He kind of got me back into the traditional knife aspect of it. And now I'm carrying beautiful little knives like this. So, you know, uh, we've been doing stuff for monster racings in here. We've been doing stuff for him. Um, I did that knife sale for him. It's just, we, we try to help out as much as we can, guys. It's, and it, it's unfortunate. I, I'd like to, I would like to do something for everybody. Uh, unfortunately, that's not realistic. Um, but I try. I try. Yeah, yeah, back in those days, what, it was me, Grateful Panic. Well, at that time, it was Woodland Tactical. It wasn't Dual Sport Survival, but it's Dual Support Survival now. I mean, there you go, guys, right there. There's the crew that started it. There, there's, well, Tier 1, sorry, you kind of got added in there lately. Tier 1's a good dude, though. <laughs> but, I mean, the Sharp Spot, Jet Fuel, uh, Sean at Geared Toward Gear, Grateful Panic, uh, Blue Collar Survival, Blue BCS Army, uh, and then Zach, Zach jumped in. And we've just kind of grown from there, but I gotta help my I gotta help my brothers out as much as possible. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. So yep, Jack Farm Boy was in there too, right here. Jack was there. So gonna help some brothers out. Hey, what's up, James? How you doing, buddy? Yep. Oh, there he is. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Blade Brigade, New York. What? What's what? What did you say? The Tony Montana of knives in New York, or something like that. That's so awesome. <laughs> but yes, no. I was just telling folks that we're getting ready to do some stuff for a couple of good guys in the community, and you're a big part of it. So I was just saying thank you to you, brother. So yeah, Sean was the first. Sean was actually my first actual sort of live guest on on skl i had him here by phone he was he was talking over the phone and into the mic and that was a lot of fun oh man good times man and here we go man i i, I need to look at and see which one that was but that was back early and here we now are now on skl number 94 that's pretty crazy pretty pretty crazy Oh, well, thank you, Mark. Thank you very much for that. I greatly appreciate it. But I forgot to give Alex some love. So there's some SKL love for Alex for his donation. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciated, brother. Peter, hi. How are you? Yeah, number 100's coming up. I got something pretty pretty special planned for SKL number 100. I got a, I'll, I'll tell you right now, guys, that's one you're not gonna wanna miss. Christine's here too. Hello, Christine. Yes, indeedy, SKL number 100. It's gonna be a fun one. I mean, it's probably gonna be SKL, just SKL, us, you know. But there's gonna be there's going to be a pretty cool, I'm planning a pretty cool giveaway that night. So I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. So um, you might like it. It may be a, for the lack of a better term, collector's item for you. I, I don't want, I'm, I don't mean to throw that out there like, like that. I don't mean it to sound like that, but that's just kind of, that's what, that's the only thing that came to mind. Sorry. But it's going to be cool. So I'll be getting that ordered up here real soon and get it on the way. But let's talk about more knives. Oh, dude, Libertarian, you gave it away, man. Now everybody knows that I'm going to be giving away a Dalika for 100, man. Dude, how could you do that to me? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
I should I should ask Kiefer to send me a Dalico for 100. That would be funny though. That would be very funny. Now now I got to talk to Kiefer. <laughs> now I got to contact him. I got to get a hold of Keith and have him send me a Dalico. <laughs> hey Bunzo, what's up, buddy? Dom's here. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good to have you. Good to have you. Oh, Ohio Knife Lover jumps in. Thank you so much. Yes, a gold-plated Dalica. You guys are ruining my surprise. You guys are just ruining my surprise tonight. <laughs> gold. Hey, anything gold-plated would be good. I mean, let's let's be real. There you go. There's some love. There's some love for Ohio. Thank you so much for your donation tonight, guys. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right, man. All right, Scott. We'll talk to you later, buddy. Have a good night. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much. Oh, Zeb doesn't have a Dalica. Hey, Paul, what's up, buddy? Blade Banner's here. What's up? Hello. Good evening, you all. Right on. Oh, a red Dalica. Now, that would be cool. A red Dalica. Hmm. Hmm. Now you got me thinking. Oh, darn it. I didn't get Ohio's up there. There you go, Ohio. That's love for you right there. Thank you very much for your donation to the channel. All right. More knives. More knives. Well, I'm going to put this one out here right now since Casey is here. But I got an awesome little package in the mail today. And this awesome, awesome little knife was in it. This is the Rough Rider 2226 Red Smooth Bone Peanut. I love this little knife. Hey, Simply Knives, what's up, buddy? Ashcan's here too, what's up? I actually love this little guy. Dude, this is too cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, KC, for this awesome, awesome little knife. Red smooth bone, you know, that's near and dear to my heart. It is packed in here tonight. That's pretty cool. Yes. Oh, it's so cool. Yes, they are, monster. Yes, you are very welcome, my friend. I'm sorry, man. Comments are flying by. I miss them. I don't mean to, but I do. Such a fun, fun little knife. Yes, they are. Very perfect. Just a little red smooth bone. I mean, guys, this knife is so, so well. Man, it's just so well made for a little Rough Rider. It's just so awesome. I just, I, I can't get over it. But very, very cool. Thank you so much, KC. It's awesome, awesome little knife, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. The Slant R Bolster. Yes, indeedy. Love it. Love it, love it. Hey, Curtis, what's up? I have a feeling you might know somebody here. It's just a guess but I have a feeling. Oh, I know, brother. No problem, monster. I, I got you. You are most, most welcome. We try to help out as much as we can, like I said. So this must have been the week of the peanut, though. Well, I can't say the week of the peanut. This must have been the week of the red peanut. Because I got another one to show you. If you guys saw an unboxing earlier, unpackaging, mail call, whatever you want to call it, earlier this week, you know I got a second. Oh, no, not all. Not at all, Monster. Not at all. No worries. I'm sorry if I'm missing your comment. But where'd it go? There it is. I got another little peanut this week. Check this guy out. This one came to me from the knife market, Mark Sharp. 
And oh, I can't never. It's one I'm not. Honk Falls. Honk Falls Knife Company. I believe, as Tobias said, it's a. It's kind of falls in the same with uh, like Steel Warrior. If you guys are familiar with Steel Warrior, like a Frost, you know, a Jim Frost brand. But this one is a deep red jigged bone peanut. But I am super, super digging that. Hey, Chris Wolf. And Zach is always on top of it with the links tonight. I tell you what, guys, there is a link to Knife Market's channel. Again, another small channel. If you guys, I would greatly appreciate it if you would go over, tell him hi. I think he's got, I think he's got like 40 subscribers. Uh, but tell him hi. Tell him JB says thank you so much. And give him a little bit of love. That'd be awesome. You know we do it right here, so I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. But yeah, Honk Falls. That's a, that's a fun little name. Honk Falls Knife Company. But as you do, I don't know if you're familiar with Steel Warrior or not, but that, if it would zoom or actually focus, that's all I really want. Um, the Honk Falls, that, that shield is kind of resembles a Steel Warrior shield. So I was kind of thinking that way. And of course, uh, Tobias, Tobias is the man. He, he let me know that it is definitely a steel, along with steel warrior, frost knives, frost cutlery that is. So yes, he does, Didier. He is on top of it. Oh yeah, Tobias has got a video on all those knives, <laughs> not just Steel Warrior, but almost all of them. Oh, all right, Zeb. Yeah, I was going to tell you. I still hadn't got it yet, but if it's coming FedEx, FedEx has been horrible here. Like, you know, I told you about the care package this month. Last, last month's care package sat about an hour and a half away for three days. And... And then just showed up. So, yes, hashtag Zach Attack. We got to give him. We got to give him one of those. Yeah, and it might just be, it might just be West Coast. I don't know, but it is not not fun out here when it comes to when it comes to uh, FedEx. Not at all. There we go. There's a hashtag Zach attack for him. Uh, some people have been saying they've been having good luck with them, but right now I think right now I think UPS is the only thing that's getting any sort of love. What's up, EDC Mag? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good to have you. Good to have you. So just so you know, I do have my care package um, here, and it came today. I mean, I was doing SKL tonight. I did the give live giveaway last night. I'm not going to go live tomorrow because I think Zach said he was planning on going live around noon, and then everybody else that goes live on Sunday, I'm not going to do that. So I'm probably going to do a live unboxing of the care package at 10 o'clock Monday morning. I know I usually... I don't know what it is with 10 o'clock. I guess I have a thing for 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., 10 p.m. But I will do... Yeah, I hear you, Rusty. I hear you. But I will be doing a live unboxing Monday morning at 10 a.m. of this month's SMKW Army Care Package. So, if you're available, come check it out. If not, check out the replay. <laughs> I'm thirsty tonight. Goodness gracious. Oh, I know why. We had Chinese food. That's why I'm so thirsty. MSG. <laughs> That's why. And sodium. That's why I'm so thirsty right now. Yes, 1 p.m. for those East Coasters. Yes, indeedy. So... Yeah, exactly. I was wondering, I was like, why am I so thirsty? We did. We had Chinese food for dinner, so that's why. 
Yup. Oh, I love Chinese food. I pretty much love anything Chinese food. Mm. In search of General Tso's chicken. I don't know if I want to watch that. That doesn't... That I don't know. Do I really, really want to watch that? Oh yeah, Safeway Chinese. Now we had a uh, we had King's Walk, we had King's Walk Devil Dog. For all of you that don't know, I w I work with Devil Dog, and didn't know he was a diesel mechanic apparently in the Marine Corps. So, but anyway, that's a that was a that's in the past. But yes, and as a matter of fact, what did you go to Silverdale Safeway? Because King's Walk is in the same complex, so that's funny. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Crab Rangoon. Mm. So, all right. What else are we going to look at tonight? So, I actually, here a while back, I got contacted by uh, Blade Runner Systems. It was actually somebody that I wasn't, I honestly wasn't overly familiar with. And unfortunately, it's kind of been, the stuff they sent me kind of fell to the back burner, and I feel bad. But I think you've been seeing stuff. Uh, Blade Bander, uh, he just did a couple of their knives. And they must have contacted a few of us and sent some stuff out to a few of us. So um, we're going to take a look couple of tonight. So tonight, what are we going to check out first? This is the Blade Runner Systems. Evolve Nomad. Pretty, pretty. This is a very interesting knife to me. Um, I, it has good materials. I believe it's S35 VN on the blade. I'm going to tell you what, guys. I'm going to have to look it back up again because I don't remember. I believe it's S35 VN. Yep, S35 VN on the blade, but it, I don't know. I'm trying to, action is pretty darn good. Oh, no, I screwed it up. I can Spidey flick it, I just did. Yeah, it's got a pretty wicked Tanto on it. Black stone washed finished, that kind of that camo, kind of G10, good grip on it, good grip. I would agree. I would agree, David. I would really like to have, um, I mean, it's not that important, I guess, but it is nice if they would mark their steel. The steel on the blade, I, I would like that. Um, it's got some really nice jimping that is kind of bordering on over, over aggressive. I mean, that's some, that's some almost some saw teeth jimping there. Um, it could be toned down just a little bit, but I mean, overall, it's got a fairly decent feel to it. No, I'm not either, Christine. I'm not a huge, huge Tanto fan. And Stuart, I don't know if I've told you hi tonight yet. And if I haven't, I'm very sorry. But I'm glad you're here, my friend. Bladed Ginger here's as well. Very cool. Goondocks is here. India Knife Law. Oh, cool. We can be educated on Indian knife law. Very cool. Man, Zach's just throwing links out on everything tonight. <laughs> He's throwing out links for Indian knife law and everything else. Holy smokes. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> well, I mean, and they do have some pretty cool looking knives. Blade Runner system, they got the Evolve, and then we've got the... I have a Revo here to check out as well. But really, look at this pocket clip, though. This this is what kind of surprised me about it. It's got a very, very thin pocket clip. It's okay. It's not bad. But, I mean, it's, it's thin. So, I mean, it's not... It's, it's fairly smooth in and out of pocket and everything, and it holds really well. It just really surprised me that it was that slender on this knife. But the detent is okay. I mean, there you go. 
you can pretty much inertia flip it. So, yeah. I don't, I'm kind of torn with this knife, to be perfectly honest with you. There you go. Yeah, there's a link to our channel chat. If y'all want to check it out, me and Zeb, a lot of fun. Yes, there you go. If you want to know about knife laws in the United States, knifrights.org. Extremely, extremely, a uh, very, very educational uh, website right there for sure. Thank you, Zach. But, I mean, I need a little bit more time with this one. Uh, that's what I'm struggling with, Libertarian. That's what I'm struggling with. I, I, I don't know if it is. <laughs> uh, knife up? Oh, I'm pretty sure I've looked at that one. Oh, sure, now that I'm down here, I'm not behind the camera either, so I can spidey flick it pretty easily. But, uh, yeah... Yeah, I probably could fix the detent. It's just kind of a bummer when they come out like that, you know. I mean, it's just like, you know, I mean, well, I mean, I don't know if you guys saw Zach's recent, you know, video on the Sedulo, but it, it's, a, it's a little sad when knives that actually cost a pretty penny come out of the they just come out of the factory not really living up to standards. And, you know, it's just a bummer. Yeah, yeah. And if it's, if it's, you're selling it to a customer, I don't really believe it should be. It's not bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ash can, of course. Oh, see, I, there, I've been sitting over there, Spidey flicking it off camera. You guys have been hearing me. You guys have been hearing me do it. And I put it in front of the camera and can't do it. See, I just did it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yes. Oh, my goodness. But there you go. Um, yeah. I don't know. That one's going to be, that one's going to be a little bit tough, I think. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Zach's just going. <laughs> oh, oh, I got to pay you back tomorrow, Zach. <laughs> we got the weather in Europe. Well, that's good. We've got some people from Europe here, so that's good. Hey, the Dow, right on. The Dow is up, so that's good. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Zach just completely threw me off my game. <laughs> oh. <coughs> my goodness, I need a drink after that. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes, there we go. We need to give Zach give Zach lots of love for that. We got to give him lots of love for that. There you go, buddy. <laughs> I give him a wrench and he's gone crazy. Crazy with it. <laughs> Yeah, no. Well, I, I, I'll tell you what, Ashcan. Uh, whether it's foreign made or U.S. made, uh, because that Sedulo is made in the U.S. I'm pretty sure. And when it comes off the assembly line, as a, uh, what do they call? What they call it? Not premium, but I can't remember the word they used. But if that comes out of their custom shop with issues like that. Don't matter if it's foreign made or U.S. made. That's sad. I'm sorry. So that's pretty much my opinion on that. All right, David. Have a good night, buddy. I will talk to you later. Have a great weekend, my friend. Thank you very much for joining us. You don't have it. Well, that's good. That's good to hear, Zeb. I'm glad you don't have any issues. Uh, 
you didn't have well never mind i'm glad you didn't have any issues i'll just put it that way because the one uh zach had had plenty of issues for being a premium knife or whatever so that reserve there you go thank you lorenzo that's the word i was looking for reserve so yeah that was not a reserve knife in any way shape or form Yeah, I get you. I get you, Ashcan. Cost of production and stuff. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> it's cloudy and 57 in New Zealand, guys. Sacks on the ball. Somebody wanted to know the weather in New Zealand? There it is. Cloudy and 57. Yeah, exactly. Reserve your dollars. I, I was really thinking about get one, and then I saw Zach's video, and I'm like, mm, mm. A devil dog has great movie taste. A Christmas movie taste? Oh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. One of the best Christmas movies out there. Yes, exactly, Alex. Exactly. Oh, did he? Well, that's good. Yeah, that was too bad. Well, uh, either way, Zeb, um, it's too bad that a... Uh, somebody that reviews knives got their hands on a knife like that. We'll just put it that way uh, because that's going out there and a lot of people are seeing it. And yeah, that's, it's not good either. Any way you look at it, it might've been the only one produced, but it's going to affect a lot of people's decisions. So <laughs> Die Hard is a, that is that is one of the biggest ones that oh Didier's out. Goodbye, Didier. I'm sorry if I missed that. Have a good night, my friend. Uh, actually, day. It is day over there. So have a good day. Enjoy your Sunday. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. So now I have another one that Blade Runner sent me. And this one is the Revo Knives Warden. Yes, the Gerber Sedulo. That was the one, Hollywood. The Gerber Sedulo. <laughs> oh, my God. Now we've got chicken parmesan drumsticks. <laughs> Oh, God. Hashtag Zach Attack. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that actually sounds like a pretty good recipe, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Thank you very much, Zach. <laughs> oh, they're baked, too? Oh, man. I know, dude. I'm laughing over here. Yeah, I just had Chinese food, and I'm hungry again. <laughs> well, that's good, Rusty. He should be having fun. That's what we're here for. We are here to have fun. But here you go, guys. This is the Revo Knives Warden. Now, this one is definitely... Oh, <laughs> thank you, Zach. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> Thank you so much. There we go. We're going to give Zach some more love for all his links and his donation. And Thank you so much. But yes, this is the Warden from Revo Knives. And you know what, guys? Um, this one is a budget knife. Uh, G10 uh, D2 Steel, if I'm not mistaken. There again, it's not marked. I think it's D2. Now I got to look. Gosh, darn it. I'm not doing well this evening. I was not prepared. I apologize. Give me some stats on this thing. There it is. Nope, it's 9CR. I'm sorry. 9CR18 and G10. But I tell you what, uh, it's spring. It's assisted. It's an assisted knife. So I know not many people, you know, there's a few people out there that don't like I'm assisted. Where's Carlos? 
Somebody said hi, Carlos. Where's Carlos? Is Carlos here? Carlos is here. Hi, Carlos. How are you? Uh, but I tell you what, guys, I think I'm liking the Warden a lot more than I'm liking the Nomad. Well, you could always dye the handle, but it is ambidextrous pocket clip. Um, kind of, it wants to be deep carry, but it is not overly deep carry, but it's trying. It's trying. Uh, you've got the thumb stud ramps there. Thumb stud ramps. They do have some milling on it, so they do um, allow for a pretty good grip on this G10. I don't know if it'll... The G10's got some nice texturing on it. Well, okay, I'll tell you what, Mark, okay? And yes, I do like to have the steel markings, and they could put the steel markings in a place. But, you know, we hear people talking about all the time about uh, billboarding on knives, how they don't like billboarding. So... I mean, I don't mind that Revo there. That's not bad. You know, they could put a blade steel marking like down here, you know, kind of out of the way. But I, I tell you what, I am liking this one more than I'm actually liking the Nomad, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, um, it's a nice slender knife. I like that. Uh, the pocket clip, not bad. Not bad. This one? Was this one? Is that what you're saying, Paul? Was this one in the... I guess I haven't looked at that email today yet. This one was in the SMKW email? Yeah, I mean, the name. But it's actually a real spine. Yeah, you could put it on the spine, too. That would be a good place for it. Okay, thank you, Paul. I'll have to take a look at that when I get done. I haven't looked at email or anything today, really. Well, that comes to my other email. That comes to my personal email. So that's why I haven't seen it yet. I haven't checked that today. So. But uh, no, I haven't. I haven't ever ordered anything from Atlantic Knives. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually liking this one better than the Nomad. I mean, you guys know me. I like the budget knives. So... And 9CR18, uh, what's this one? I think it's, oh, what's it show on there? Doesn't show, I thought it was 30 something bucks. 49, 49 for this. So that's kind of, that's definitely on the top end for 9CR. You know, 49 bucks, um, 39 bucks. I, could, I would say it would probably be a pretty good deal, you know. I mean, Civivi, Civivi kind of got that 9CR price into that mid to high 40 range. So the, they're builds too. So no, it's not bad. It's not bad. But I do think it's on the high end for 9CR. So yes. Oh, thank you, Zach. Yeah, if you guys are shopping on smkw.com, I do have an affiliate link. Thirty-one fifty. There you go, guys. Thirty-one fifty at SMKW. That is an excellent. I would. I would definitely jump on it for that. I would jump on it for thirty-one fifty without a question. It is definitely worth thirty-one fifty. So, well, that's good. That's good to know about Atlantic Knives, Alex. I have not. I have not, uh, and you know, I do believe, I do, if I'm not, well, I can't be talking out of school. I'm going to shut my mouth on that right now. I won't say anything there. Um, well, yeah, I will. I'm not 100% sure I will preface this, but I think Smoky Mountain will price match if I'm not mistaken. Don't, I can't guarantee that, but I think they do. So... All right, Casey, buddy. We'll see you, man. We'll see you, brother. Have a good Sunday, and we'll catch up with you. Thank you again for that awesome, awesome peanut, buddy. I, I greatly appreciate it, man. Great, great, beautiful little knife. Thank you so much. 
How long does this go on for? It usually runs for about an hour. Between an hour and an hour and 15. That's usually what I try to keep it to. Because all my East Coasters are getting tired. <laughs> all my East Coasters are falling out on me. <laughs> I do, buddy. I like it a lot, Casey. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about Blade HQ. And like I said, I, I'm not 100%... On SMKW, but I think they do. I think they do. So, but yes, thirty-one fifty for the warden at SMKW. I would, I would say I'm in. I'm in at that price for sure. So, if y'all want a warden, Revo Knives Warden, uh, go check out SMKW. If you decide to pick one up, please my use use my affiliate link. I would greatly appreciate it. That'll be able to send me some more knives, get me some more knives to give away on the channel. Oh, speaking of which, I don't know if you guys all have, but go to the community tab on the channel. Uh, check out the, go to the community tab, scroll down just a little bit. And there is a poll going on for this month's knife that I get with my um, affiliation. I got a few Viper knives. I wanna try out some Viper knives. I got the Dan, the Free, and another one that I can't remember <laughs> right now. G Marine's out? All right, brother. All right, man. Have a good night, my friend. Enjoy your Sunday, and thank you very much for joining us on SKL tonight. Been a pleasure having you, for sure. Oh my goodness, I am so thirsty. Goodness gracious. So, hey, Dane, right on time, buddy. Just finish, just kind of finishing up here. So we will finish up and we will give some stuff away because you know, it's not SKL unless we give something away. So we will definitely be doing that. Something holiday, something festive. Well, I tell you what, Shoe Monster, neither do I. That's why I want to get one and check one out. I have not had a Viper knife on the channel yet. So that's why I went with them. So I think right now, I think the Dan is the one in the in the lead. So I think it's the one getting the most votes, most at the, vote at the moment. So I should be, whichever one wins, I'll be getting that ordered here first part of the week. So we'll be getting that on the channel here soon. Oh, the Kaiser Sheepdog Christmas Edition. Yes, the one with the the red one with the white snowflakes. That's pretty. That's actually a cool knife. I don't think I'll be picking one up though, but I should just because. But glad to have you, Dane. Oh, Fuzz Goldberg is here. What's up, Fuzz? Oh, don't tell me that. Oh, Southern Edge. Okay, <laughs> Southern Edge Mystery Box. Okay, I just saw. I just saw the S and the K and the W, and I'm like, no, I haven't opened my care package yet. But a Viper knife, that's cool. In your mystery box? Wow. Okay. Very cool. That's awesome. Which one was it, Fuzz? Which one did you get? The Viper Katla? Katla? Oh, right on. I will have to look at that one. Uh, he told me he is, right now, he is planning, Zach is planning on going live around noon. That's what he told me earlier. So, Viper 10, great knife. Very good. Very good. Cool, cool. The Odino. Now, I'm definitely going to have to look that one up. I'm not sure what that one is. The Viper Odino. Well, let's, uh... oh, it's a Vox design. Okay, cool. Well, let's. You know what? I'm going to look it up right now. I'm going to look it up right now so I can talk about it. Because we got to kill a few minutes. So why not? Viper Odino. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of digging that. Was it the titanium or the what looks to be G10 version? Oh, thank you, Zach. Six, 
seven thirty tomorrow night. Okay, cool, cool. There you go. A therapeutic edge and women carrying knives going going live tomorrow night, seven thirty Pacific. Very cool. Yeah, GTS man, Google that stuff. G ten version. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of I'm digging the look of that. It's got a pretty blunt. Pretty blunt blade, not blunt as in not sharp, but just blunt as in a very steep nose to the point there. Wow. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. I'm digging that. I wouldn't mind getting that in a box. That's cool. Yeah, the green looked good. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely seeing the Vox. Definitely seeing the Vox uh, DNA in it, for sure. And then, let's see, what was the other one? The Odino, what was the other one? Because I wasn't really sure about that one. The Odino Viper 10. Viper 10. I think I've seen that one, I think. Let's check that one out. Yes, yes, I have seen that one. Okay. Yeah, that one, that one is a very, I don't know. That one is probably one that would not catch my eye right off the bat. I don't, I think, I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I don't know. But that would That would definitely be one I would want to get my hands on to check out. You know, I mean, there's several knives that you just know. You know, okay, I might I think I might like that one, or I might not like oh the Katla. That was the other one. That was the other one. We'll check that one out. Google baby. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that a compound grind? It is a compound grind, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, not a huge fan of compound grinds, but that's just my lack of sharpening experience. Yeah, not AM. I'm pretty sure it's PM. I mean, yeah, it's a good looking knife. I mean, there's a lot of good looking versions of it. it looked like a marble carbon fiber. That one's pretty good looking. Right on. Very cool. Very cool. Sweet. Hey, Talbert's here. How you doing? Hope you had fun visiting your friend, buddy. Glad to see you. All right, guys, we'll do a quick rundown here, and then we'll get to our giveaway. We had the, yeah, okay. We had the Evolve Nomad here from Blade Runner Systems. Very interesting knife, G10 S35VN blade. Well, MKM, I mean, uh, my my review of the Asanzo, which was last month's um, knife that you all voted on, uh, that review will post on Tuesday. And it's a small knife, but man, it was a fun little knife. So here we go. Beautiful, beautiful Big Red EDC and personalized with my initials. Beautiful leather slip, red leather slip from our good print friend Paul, Decor de Lame. Beautiful, beautiful slip. Thank you so much again, my friend. And of course, the Arthur Wright and Son Lamb's Foot is riding in it tonight. Very cool. Another very awesome gift from my good buddy, Slick Slicer. So thank you both very much for these beautiful, beautiful gifts. Hey, Blade Ogre, what's up? Of course, again, there we have the RR2226. Little red smooth bone peanut. A good from my good friend friend Casey. Thank you very much, my friend. He just left. 
But thank you so much for that. And then from the knife market, Mr. Mark Sharp, another red peanut. This is a jig bone. Honk Falls. That's just fun to say. <laughs> Honk Falls peanut. Dark, deep red jigged smooth bone. Or jigged bone, excuse me. And then we have the Revo knives. Oh, I just went blank. Warden, jeez. Man, went blank. Revo knives, Warden. G10, 9CR18. It looks like they're on sale right now at Smoky Mountain Knife Works for $31.50. Thank you for pointing that out. Shane's here. What's up, Shane? How you doing? Now, this is assisted. So this is an assisted knife. So I know not everybody's into assisted knives. But of the two that came from Blade Runner Systems, I, I really think I would take the Warden over the Nomad. That's just me. That's my opinion. Very cool. So let's clear the table and let's give some stuff away. I think we have fully, fully gone to numbers, guys. I think that's just a little bit more, a little bit more fair, a little bit better for everybody. So we don't have, yes, you always could de-assist it. Well, you can't always de-assist them. You can de-assist some spring assisted knives. I have seen some assisted knives that were de-assisted and they don't work worth a darn. So you can but you're taking a risk doing it. So just to throw that out there. <clears throat> so let's see. Oh, Shane's down with the Rona. Oh man, sorry to hear that, man. Sorry to hear that. Doggone, that's not good. So what do we got? Let's see. Oh yeah, Talbert's doing his leather work. Don't forget that. Check out Talbert Tipton over on Facebook. He's got some videos up. He's thinking about starting a channel. Um, if you guys would go over and watch his videos on his Facebook page and give him some feedback, he would greatly, greatly appreciate that. So, And I would, too. Give him some feedback. That would be terrific. So, all right. I got 62 people in here. So, we need... Let's see. We haven't done any high numbers. Oh, wow. There you go. Down with the sickness. Um, Let's see. Let's do one number. Wait for the start. Don't guess anything until you see a start on the screen. Um, Let's do one number between 600 and 750. We'll go with that spread tonight. 600 and 750, one number, don't guess yet. Um, closest without going over will be our winner. So I need to pick a number between 600 and 750. What are we playing for tonight? Well, of course, you are going to be playing for a swag pack. Yes, indeedy. Swag, swag. Gotta love the swag. We even had some leftover Buck Dive sticker from our big giveaway. So we'll be, we'll be seeing a few of those. I3, I3E EOS from Olight. One of my, my, well, not one of, my favorite, favorite keychain light. Love these things. 10 bucks, 95 lumens. Is it 95 or 100? It's 95, I think. 90, 90, 95. Well, it says 90. Okay. Almost 100. There. Almost 100 lumens out of this little light. Awesome. Awesome. Um, those actually came from, those actually came from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, Grom. Uh, she gave us a few. <laughs> there was quite a few. Yes. Yes. 999. That's usually what you can find these for. You can usually find these for $9.99 on Amazon pretty much all the time. Or $9.95 or whatever it is. And then, 
since we are fully yes she does melina melina gave us a lot of swag for that giveaway a lot of swag <laughs> um since we are in the christmas season holiday season i will be giving away a merry christmas rough rider I like these. I get a few of these every year and give them out. I sent some out to people last year. But those are the ones where it changes. Goes from Merry Christmas to Happy Holidays. In this one, you get Santa flying off across the sun. Or sun. Moon. My goodness. Must be time to go to bed. But nice little trapper. Standard trapper blades with half stops. Match strike poles, and then you even have the frosted blade that says Merry Christmas there. Very cool. Neon green knives. <laughs> oh, they're sold out? Well, there you go. Well, I tell you what. Who said they were sold out? Rick, I tell you what. I've got a couple of them that are going to be given away on the channel. So here's your opportunity, buddy. So let me get my number here. I'm going to go. All right, there. I got my number. My number is written down. I'm going to put it right there. The stop hank is at the ready. So we really don't need the stop hank anymore, but it's part of the channel, so we're gonna do it. So. Yep, Nail Nick and Longful. So there you go, guys. One number. Closest without going over 600 to 750. Go ahead and make your guesses. Got some good numbers going here, right on. Very good, very good. Zach's beating me to him. Some, some of them we have to... Or Zeb. Zeb could be beating me to him, too. Y'all are beating me to him. Well, since you guys are doing that, I'm going to go look and see if anybody hits it right on. I'm trying to approve comments and they're beating me to them. So I'm going to go look and see if anybody hits it. <laughs> some close ones. We got some close ones. We definitely got some close ones. One guess, please. One guess only. If you guess more than once, I will have to take your first guess. One guess only, please. One guess only and your first guess counts. Yes, if you guess more than once, I will take your first guess. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I'm afraid somebody that guessed multiple times might be taking themselves out of the running. I don't know. Yep, one guess only, please. So now I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to go back and delete a few comments because I want to make sure that your first comment is the one that counts and somebody's already doing it for me. So very good, very good. Oh, 
Oh, we had multiple people. Holy smokes. There's a lot of deleted comments in there. I'm sure that's Zach and Zeb. So thank you very much, guys, for doing that. I greatly appreciate it. <clears throat> All right. So is everybody done guessing? <clears throat> I didn't see what that one was. Hopefully, hopefully that was a double guess. I didn't even get to see that comment. Yeah, there was a lot of them. All right. Well, I think we might. I think we might be having all our guesses in. So there you go. There's the stop. We're going to throw up some stop signs just to be fun. Make it official. There we go. All right, so y'all are gonna have to help me. I think we deleted all the multiple con multiple guesses. Tonight's number was 657. 657. So let's go back and look. 657, closest without going over. Six five seven. Well, there's a six forty three. Oh, there's a six fifty three. That's John R. Oh, he got Shane, but hit one with a six fifty two. Six fifty three. Six fifty three. Six fifty three. I'm thinking 653, guys. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm seeing John R was 653. Y'all keep me honest with that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm seeing too. Okay. Well, John, John R., you are our winner this evening. Congrats to you, sir. Uh, please um, email me, bigrededc at gmail.com. Uh, you can hit me up on Instagram, too, if you would like, if you have Instagram. Otherwise, bigrededc at gmail.com will work just fine. I can get your shipping info, and I can get this out to you, buddy. So very cool. Congrats to John for this evening. So, well, all right, guys, that is our giveaway for this evening. As always, that's how we usually close up the show. So I tell you what, guys, I will be signing off for this evening. Oh, you're very welcome, John. You are very welcome. I hope you all have a fantastic, fantastic rest of your weekend. I've still got to go make up some address labels and some customs labels and get this, get some more boxes out in the mail. So I hope you guys have a terrific weekend. I hope you have a terrific week coming up. Remember, Zach is going live tomorrow, tentatively around noon. We're gonna go with that for right now. Um, Peter and Christine, Therapeutic Edge, Women Carry Knives are going live tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Pacific. So make sure to watch for those. Of course, OCD for EDC goes live tomorrow. Slicey Dicey goes live tomorrow. So since everybody's going live tomorrow, I will be doing a live unboxing of the SMKW Care Package Monday morning at 10 a.m. So hopefully I'll see some of you there for that. But have a great weekend, guys. Thank you so much. Love y'all. Have a great night, and I'll talk to you later.